it was unbelievable. Just a really special and proud moment for me. And I think, obviously, it's something we've all been working for for so long. And to finally hear that news, yeah, it felt really good. Yeah, I think everyone's really, really looking forward to it. Obviously, we've been preparing for this for so long, qualification for the whole year. And I think for it to finally be here just feels amazing. And everyone's really looking forward to getting out there and obviously making the country proud and doing our best and everything like that. Yeah, I think obviously it's a combination of things. We're obviously going to be analyzing the opponents and looking at how they play, but I think also trying to solidify our structure and how we want to play. So I think that's what a lot of the training will be, is obviously trying to sharpen those details on the pitch and obviously get on the same page to make sure everyone knows what the game plan is and what we want to do. Yeah, uh, to be honest, it was a really difficult couple of days uh, to hear the news about the girls missing out, but I think you just said it right there. This, this, what we've accomplished here is way more than 23 players. It's every single player that has been part of the qualification and helped along the way and those that have paved the way before us. So I think everybody knows that even if they didn't make that final 23, that they are part of this and we're such a close group. So I think that's just something that is so important to us. So obviously it's really devastating for the girls that missed out, but we just want to go there and make them proud and make the country proud. And yeah, yeah, I think it's amazing because obviously when you hear Australia, I think one of the first things people says is about how many Irish people are out there. And I think we obviously see here at Tala and, and our games in the qualification, how amazing the Irish fans are and how much support we have. So I think that's only going to grow when we go to the World Cup and in that first game, obviously in a big, big stadium. So I think we're really looking forward to hearing that national anthem and having, having the crowd behind us. Yeah, I think, uh, as I've said so many times before, I always want to just fulfill whatever roles needed of me in this team. So whether that's, as you said, saving a penalty or organizing the defenders or anything like that, I just want to step up where I'm needed and do anything to help the team. So I definitely hope to continue to do that uh, in the summer. Yeah, I really am looking forward to it. Obviously, I've loved my time in the WSL and at Everton. And I think it's nice to see the progression. And I think so much of what I've been able to do in the national team is because of what I've learned and developed at Everton with my goalkeeper coach and with the players there. So I think it'll be great to be back for another year.